My husband has another job interview tomorrow. Yay! So hopefully that one will work. And how much did you want to loan today? Three. Okay. This customer is here to take out a $300 cash loan. The fee over two weeks is $48. $300. We are going to go over the loan agreement real quick. Mm -hmm. It's going to be $348.31. If you annualize the cost of the loan, it works out to an interest rate of 418%. That has TV news anchors piping mad. They've been charging upwards of a thousand, uh, or a thousand, one hundred percent. Price gouging. It's not five or ten or even fifteen percent. It's more like four hundred and sixty percent. Fifteen hundred dollars in interest. Eight hundred percent interest is legal? It's a dangerous financial product. These are people who are living on the economic margins. Journalist Gary Rivlin is the author of Broke USA, How the Working Poor Became Big Business. And you see all kinds of people uh, falling into traps. Enter President Obama and the Frank Dodd financial reform bill. Now the federal government has the power to do what six states and the District of Columbia have already done, regulate the payday loan industry out of business. These reforms represent the strongest consumer financial protections in history. In history. Poor people know how to be poor better than middle-class people, and certainly better than Washington bureaucrats. Todd Zawicki is a law professor at George Mason University. If your transmission breaks and you need $400 for a car repair, you need $400 whether or not you've got it in the bank uh, or you don't. A 2007 Federal Reserve study found that when Georgia regulated the payday industry out of the state, consumers bounced more checks and filed for bankruptcy at a higher rate. Simply wishing away the, a world of broken transmissions isn't going to help people. And will the people who are currently going to payday lenders now, will they be better off when, if payday lending goes away? I think extending high price credit to people living on the economic margins who are barely getting by, I see that as making their lives harder. Did you ever go so deep into debt that you couldn't get out? Or yeah, you sure. Felt, yeah. I had fallen, I think, $10,000, $12,000 in credit card debt. Would it be better if you hadn't been extended the credit card debt in the first place? Uh, no, I, I, you know, I had to pay my rent. I mean, I had to buy food. It wasn't like, I'm a pretty frugal guy. It's not like I lost my head and bought flat screen TVs. As long as there has been consumer credit, there have been people who have been uh, very upset that other people they believe are not using consumer credit responsibly. And when we start trying to tell people how they should float their bills in order to keep their electricity from being turned off, that's not going to end up helping them. Critics of the industry tend to focus on the cost of a payday loan. So you're making three or four times the profit margin off the single mom with two kids making 20 grand a year as you are off the white collar, more prosperous banking customer. That to me uh, is one of the moral problems with a payday loan. But payday loan profits turn out to be fairly average once you factor in the cost of maintaining stores and writing off bad loans. A 2007 study found that payday companies generally see returns of only 10% a year which is comparable to the profits of other financial service firms. The operating margin for Advance America last quarter was 9.76%. If they're making less profit, does that make them less immoral? I, I, I'd rather look at, uh, rather than the morality of this, is this a healthy product? Is this a financial product that makes sense for people? Is this a product that needs to be further regulated? Regulation of uh, consumer credit interferes with the contract that borrowers and lenders want to enter into. That doesn't mean they won't you. enter into a contract. It just means they'll enter into a contract on terms probably inferior to the ones that they preferred. Hey Ernest, this is Greg, the owner of Hometown Financial Services. The customer is treated with dignity and respect. Let me give you my card. Thanks a lot. No, thank you. It. I have to transact business so that we are the destination of choice. Yeah, and I'll be here the next three days myself, so you got nothing to worry about. We don't look down our nose at them. I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Thank hon. you for helping me. A new consumer watchdog with just one job, looking out for people as they interact with the financial system. The impact of the massive uh, financial regulatory reform bill will be to increase the cost of credit, reduce its availability. The real question we have now is, will the Bureau end up increasing cost a lot or increasing it a little? Thank you.